you guys. Look at this monster. She's cooking. She is the gates of hell inside of there. And that thing is an awesome stove, as far as I can tell so far. I'm just trying to leave the door open to burn off the rest of this paint. And then the back starting obviously too. And I may have to take a run out to Home Depot. I don't want to, because it's way across town. But it may be the only place that will have um, high heat uh, bl flat black paint. But I got to make sure this is completely burned off before I take off. Actually, no. I'll just cl I can close the door and just let the let it do a slow burn. But uh, man. I can literally hear this thing howling when that damn fan shuts off at the side of the house. Um, you'll, you'll be able to hear it when that fan shuts off. I'll bring my uh, camera up closer to the fire and you'll be able to hear it rumbling. Kind of like a rocket stove, you hear it make noise and stuff like that. So, yeah. But like I said, um, I'd like to apply the high heat uh, paint while the stove is still warm because that way it's probably going to stick a hell of a lot better. Um, not too, too warm, you know, just maybe nice lukewarm to the touch, something like that. And then keep a few embers in there going just to keep it, keep it somewhat together we'll see but just with that door open I'm able to get see the lid starting to get some of that paint off browning up over there okay there's the fan quit I'll bring you close you hear that Here, right at the chimney. Chimneys, it's burning clean up here. The smoke you see down here is the paint burning off. Oh, it's cooking a label down there. Nasty shit. You guys could still hear it, I think. Let me pick you up here. Hear it drawn? Oh, you can see some flame there too. I don't want to get the camera lens too high or too close, so I'm holding it way up. Oh yeah, it's firing like a rocket stove, guys. That's crazy. That thing is a beast. Absolutely awesome. Now, if this doesn't eat the tiny house, I think we've got issues. <laughs> the nice thing about this thing, I can, I really don't have to chop up too much because it's so large, I can just load it, load it, load it. And then just have it basically load it once and it'll probably get me overnight, no problem. Get me through the overnight. No issues. 
I don't have to load any more wood in there because holy shit, look at that coals in there, the embers. It's looking really nice. This thing's fairly portable, guys, when empty, just to let you know. So, I don't know. Um, Charles and John over at the uh, Our Tiny Cabin Project may be interested in something like this, but obviously it's going to take up a lot of floor space, which is a, a which is probably a premium where they're at. Um, and you got to be 36 inches all the way around clearances for this thing, and uh, so maybe something to think about for them, or. Um, uh, Mike, One Acre Homestead can maybe think about something like this. Now, guys, the questions that are going to come in the comments, I already know. It's going to burn through the metal. Well, guys, guess what? There's an easy way to fix that. Absolutely. If a little pinhole or something starts, all you go, you go to the hardware store, get refractory cement or fire clay and you just putty it over let it dry or follow the instructions basically let it dry and then you can do inside and out because remember this front lid guys is removable if you haven't forgotten this whole front lid is removable and so I, that means I can pull the entire front off go in putty it from the inside Putty it on the outside, all fixed, no issues, forever. Because clay will never um, burn through again, guys, unless I'm doing some high-end thermite or some nonsense. Oh, the back of the stove's really get, get, getting ripped here. That's good. I'm loving it. And the flames are still just roaring out of there, guys. That's awesome. So, pretty impressed with this stove. This is probably going to absolutely destroy the Cubic Mini Grizzly. Because I can probably fit one, two, probably four Cubic Mini Grizzlies in here, maybe more. So just imagine if, you know, the comparison. Look at that. This thing is... It's cooking like a rocket stove, just howling. It, this, now this is a cheap rocket stove. Not really a rocket stove, but sure is performing pretty awesome, if you ask me. I'm just gonna leave that door open because it's the best way to burn that paint off. And then when the majority of the paint's burned off, guys, what I'll do, I'll just shut the door, let it slowly cook the embers down, and then when I get back, we'll do a touch test around the barrel, um, and just to see if I can apply some paint, if I can find it. That's the trick. So I think I can whip out to Home Depot quick, pick up some paint, and go from there. But other than that, I think we're good. So, I think I'll, uh, since there's kids around, better stay here. Don't need anybody uh, giving us nonsense. So, just a second.